Today, we're diving into some powerful wisdom from ancient Stoic philosophers that can seriously level up your happiness game in 2024. We're talking about straightforward, no-nonsense principles that anyone can apply to make a real impact on their life. So buckle up, hit that like button if you're ready to soak in some practical wisdom, and let's kick off our journey to a brighter, happier you this year. Number one, stop doubting yourself. Instead, start believing that doubt is a strong opponent that often sneaks into our minds like an unwelcome guest. But here's the trick. It's not about completely getting rid of doubt. It's about handling it with a resilient mindset. Even the Stoics, like Marcus Aurelius, weren't immune to self-doubt. However, they mastered the art of dealing with it. Marcus, who ruled an empire, took time to question and advise himself. His approach wasn't to ignore doubt, but to confront it. He would ask himself if his thoughts were beneficial and if they improved or hindered his life. When doubt creeps in for us, we can do the same by asking such questions. This transforms doubt from an obstacle into a tool for self-reflection and growth. It's amusing how we often make our doubts bigger than they are, while the solutions are simpler. Elias pondered, Our life is what our thoughts make it. These words aren't just poetic, they're a practical mantra. Imagine this. You're about to start a new project and doubt tells you that you can't. Here's where you change the narrative. Acknowledge the doubt, then counter it with evidence of your past successes, no matter how small. This simple act of self-belief can be the first step toward a happier you. Remember, happiness doesn't come from the absence of doubt, but from your ability to believe in yourself despite it. Number two, reflect on your life. Have you ever stopped watching Netflix and wondered, is this all there is? Let's be honest, reflecting on your life doesn't mean you need to climb a mountain and meditate. It's just about taking a moment, maybe during your morning coffee, to ask yourself some serious questions. Ask yourself things like, what motivates me to get out of bed every morning? Or why do I behave the way I do? Now, picture your life as a movie. Would you watch it? or would you doze off before the opening credits end? Reflection isn't about being tough on yourself. It's about being honest. If your daily routine were a YouTube video, would you hit the like button or scroll past it? Remember, you're the director of this show and it's in your hands to make it interesting. Now let's talk about dreams, not the weird ones about going to work in your pajamas, but your real deep desires. Are they sitting on a shelf, collecting dust? It's time to dust them off and break them down into simple steps, just like your morning to-do list. Consider this. If you can remember to charge your phone every night, you can definitely take small steps toward your dreams. Your life story is yours to write, so make it one you'd love to tell. Number three, focus on what you can control. Life can be unpredictable and overwhelming, but there's a secret to staying calm. Concentrate on what you have power over. It's like playing a video game. You can't control the game levels or other players' behavior, but you can master your own moves. In life, focus on your actions, thoughts, and attitudes. Consider them your joysticks and buttons and use them wisely. Seneca, a well-known Stoic philosopher, experienced exile which many would see as a loss of control. However, Seneca turned inward, concentrating on his writing and thoughts and cultivating his inner self. This wasn't a retreat. It was a strategic focus on what he could control. His writings from this period reflect the power of directing energy where it matters most. This lesson is as relevant today as it was in ancient Rome. Remember, some things are in our control and others are not, as the quote often attributed to Epictetus says. Epictetus understood the limits of his control and focused on his inner life, thoughts, and responses. By embracing this philosophy, we can become not only happier but also more content and resilient, just as he was amidst life's chaos. It's not about controlling the storm but about learning to dance in the rain. Number four, 
be kind to others. There's a famous saying that goes, you get what you give. Imagine tossing a small stone into a lake. The ripples it creates spread far and wide, reaching places the stone could never reach. That's the power of doing good for others. Every small act of kindness, like holding the door or sharing a smile, creates ripples in the world around us. It's not about big gestures. It's the everyday kindness that really matters. By making someone else's day a little brighter, we inadvertently light up our own. Now here's the catch. The good you do often comes back to you, but not always in the way you expect. It's like throwing a boomerang of kindness. It will return, sometimes as a thankful smile or other times as a helping hand when you least expect it. This isn't about keeping score, but understanding that our actions contribute to a kinder, more compassionate world. In this world, happiness finds fertile ground to grow on. Seneca, who understood the power of benevolence, once said, Wherever there is a human being, there is an opportunity for kindness. Seneca didn't just talk about it. He practiced generosity and kindness, often advising and helping others without expecting anything in return. His life teaches us that true happiness doesn't come from what we acquire, but from what we give. Let's enter 2024 with open hearts, ready to spread kindness because, after all, a good deed is a step towards a happier life. Number five, does less better. Simplify your tasks and focus on doing them well. Imagine trying to juggle too many balls. They all end up on the floor. Life is similar. Doing everything often leads to achieving little. The key is doing fewer things, but doing them better. It's not about the quantity of tasks, but the quality of your engagement. Choose a few important things and give them your all. This focused approach enhances your skills and brings satisfaction. Simplifying life is about having more of what matters. Trim your to-do list to the essentials, like a sculptor revealing a beautiful statue. Remove the unnecessary to uncover your true priorities. Clarity leads to action, and action leads to happiness. By focusing on fewer things, you channel your energy effectively, making each effort count. Remember the wisdom of Marcus Aelius. Concentrate on what's in front of you with genuine seriousness. In our pursuit of happiness, let's focus on doing less, but doing it better, opening ourselves to excellence and contentment. Narrow your gaze to broaden your impact. Number six, be grateful. Pause and think about gratitude. It's like finding a $5 bill in your old jacket. It's always there, but when you discover it, your day brightens a bit. Gratitude is about appreciating small things like a warm cup of coffee, a text from a friend, or a beautiful sunset. When you start noticing and being thankful for these moments, life becomes richer. It's not about waiting for big things. It's about finding joy in the ordinary. Making gratitude a habit is simple. Keep a gratitude journal and jot down something you're grateful for each night. It could be as simple as enjoying a quiet moment or as big as achieving a personal goal. This practice shifts your focus from what's missing to what's present in your life. The more you look for things to be grateful for, the more you find them. As Epicus wisely said, a wise person doesn't grieve for what they don't have but rejoices in what they do have. In 2024, let's embrace gratitude by recognizing and cherishing the abundance in our lives. This opens doors to happiness and contentment. Remember, it's not happiness that brings gratitude, but gratitude that brings happiness. Number seven, stop seeking external approval. Seeking external validation is like chasing a shadow that you can never catch. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy still relevant today, teaches us a valuable lesson. Instead of seeking approval outside, look within for validation. Picture your self-worth as a fortress. Why let someone else control it? Now, let's get practical. How do you stop this approval-seeking mission? Start by acknowledging your own achievements, no matter how small. Did you make your bed today? That's a win. 
Take a moment to appreciate these small victories. They add up. It's like building a mental muscle where you're both the coach and the cheerleader. When you feel the urge to seek compliments or likes on social media, pause and ask yourself, am I doing this for me or for others? Here's a stoic secret. Your opinion is the one that truly matters. Every day, do something that makes you proud, not for applause, but for your own sense of achievement. Rewire your brain to seek internal validation instead of external praise. Think of it as mental decluttering, less focus on others' opinions, more space for your own growth. It's not about becoming indifferent to others. It's about being true to yourself. This shift in mindset is not just liberating, it's empowering. Number eight, challenge yourself. It's tough and demanding, and there are moments when you question why you even began. But here's the deal. Every step you take up that mountain makes you stronger and more resilient. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy, reminds us that true fulfillment in life comes from overcoming challenges, not avoiding them. So in 2024, let's transform our daily grind into our own personal Everest. Now, you might be thinking it's easier said than done. Well, stoicism isn't about overnight transformations. It's about making small, steady changes. Start by setting a goal that pushes your limits but is still achievable. It could be learning a new skill, improving your fitness, or even just reading a book each month. The key isn't the goal itself, but the growth that comes from reaching for it. Each small victory is a step up your mountain. Remember, climbing a mountain isn't a solo journey. Share your challenges and victories with others. Stoicism teaches us the power of community and support. By sharing your journey, you not only gain allies, but also inspire others to start their climbs. So, as we step into 2024, let's challenge ourselves, support each other, and enjoy the view from our personal summits. Happy climbing! Number 9. Laughing more, especially when faced with life's challenges, isn't just a happy suggestion. It's a fundamental aspect of a happy life. This idea echoes the wisdom of ancient Stoics like Chrysippus, who, as the story goes, laughed himself to death. While that might be an extreme case, it highlights a profound truth. Laughter is important. It's a powerful tool that lightens our burdens and provides perspective on our problems. Imagine looking at life's little dramas with a humorous perspective. Instead of getting frustrated when your coffee spills, picture yourself chuckling at the universe's quirky timing. This is stoicism in action, reminding us that not everything deserves a serious reaction. So how can you bring more laughter into your modern life? It's easier than you think. Start by finding the lighthearted side of everyday situations. When stuck in a traffic jam, turn it into an opportunity to enjoy your favorite comedy podcast. After a tough day at work, share stories with friends about the most bizarre encounters. This isn't about ignoring life's complexities. It's about choosing a joyful perspective, a practical stoic approach. Control what you can, your outlook and reaction, and let go of what you can't. Laughter is a shared experience that connects us, making our collective journey a bit brighter. So the next time you find something amusing, share it. Be the person who brings a smile to others. Your laughter becomes a ripple, touching lives in ways you might never see. This is the essence of stoicism, finding harmony within and spreading it outward. Stoicism isn't just about enduring life stoically, it's about embracing it joyously. So go ahead and laugh a bit more. It's not just good for the soul, it's wisdom echoing through the ages. Number 10. Embrace your destiny. It might seem challenging, but this is where ancient Stoic wisdom meets our fast-paced, tech-savvy world. Stoicism isn't about hiding emotions or enduring pain without flinching. It's about facing whatever life throws at you with a positive attitude. Think of it like surfing. Waves will come, big and small, 
but what matters is your skill in riding them, not the size of the wave. So, how do you embrace your destiny in a world where it can include anything from a missed Uber to a crucial email disappearing into the digital abyss? Start by changing your mindset. When things don't go your way, see it as a chance to grow. Miss that Uber? It's an opportunity for a brisk walk and some fresh air. Email vanished? It's time to enhance your tech skills. It's not about being blindly optimistic, but finding the silver lining in every cloud. Transform challenges into stepping stones. Marcus Aelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, wisely noted, what stands in the way becomes the way. This means that the obstacles you face can pave your path to success. Next time your Wi-Fi acts up during an important call, instead of getting upset, appreciate the unplugged world. Strike up a conversation with someone nearby or jot down those creative ideas you've been putting off. Loving your destiny is about embracing life's unpredictable nature with agility and grace. Choose to dance in the rain instead of waiting for the storm to pass. As we step into 2024, remember that life isn't just happening to you. It's happening for you. Every twist, turn, and tumble is an invitation to grow stronger, wiser, and happier. So surf those waves with a smile and see how your world transforms. If you found these stoic principles intriguing and are ready to supercharge your happiness in 2024, don't forget to hit that like button and smash the subscribe. Ring that notification bell too, so you won't miss out on more wisdom drops. Let's make this journey towards a brighter, happier you together. Share your thoughts in the comments, and until next time, stay awesome, stay happy.